New Orleans Saints owner Gail Benson is directly addressing the issue of Saints personnel helping the Archdiocese on its list of credibly accused priests. Yeah, Benson says she released a statement to bring clarity to questions about her relationship with the Archdiocese. Our Paul Dudley is following this story for us. Now, this comes as many, of course, media outlets battle over emails between the Saints and the Archdiocese. Yeah, Katie and Sharice, that uh, statement was released uh, today by Gail Benson, and it appeared to indicate that the statement was in response to additional questions from the Associated Press and possibly about an article to be published tomorrow. Now, tonight, the statement is giving us a better idea of the Saints' role in the release of the accused priest list, and it's a role that Benson says she is proud of. Meantime, survivors are saying the Saints organization should have never been involved in the first place. The owner of the Saints and Pelicans doubling down Monday, releasing a lengthy statement addressing how Saints staff advised the Archdiocese on its list of credibly accused priests. According to Gail Benson, Greg Bensel, the senior vice president of communications, was asked if he would help the Archdiocese prepare for the media relative to the release of clergy names involved in the abuse scandal. Bensel met with the Archbishop and communication staff, and according to Benson, his recommendations included be honest, complete, and transparent, own the past wrongs, and find a solution to correct them. The statement also denies that Benson ever paid off victims, saying, quote, to suggest that I would offer money to the Catholic Church to pay for anything related to the clergy molestation issue sickens me. And the statement comes as the Associated Press continues to battle to make emails between the Saints and Archdiocese public. The ultimate issue before the court is, are these emails confidential or are these emails subject to be released to the Associated Press? Now, the three major TV stations, including Channel 4. Benson wrote that she is repulsed by the actions of the past clergy in the abuse scandal, that but Kevin Bourgeois with the Survivors Network for those abused by priests eyes, questions uh, why she is so reluctant to release the emails. Why on earth is Mrs. Benson employing employing eight attorneys to represent her and the organization to keep these documents secret. If you don't have anything to hide, then why are you fighting this in court? According to Benson, she is proud of the role the organization played, saying in hindsight, they would help again. I think that if she wants to, to be helpful, stay out of religion. You go to church, make donations, do what you need to do, but stay out of the scandal that Archbishop Amen is embroiled in. Now, the statement says no one associated with the Saints organization made recommendations to, of the names on the list. There is still no word on what this article from the Associated Press will have in it. The matter of releasing these emails will be heard again in front of a judge on Thursday and then again on the 20th. Back to you, Sharice. Paul, thanks so much.